This morning, the mass exodus out of Russia shows no signs of easing. Hundreds of thousands of Russians scrambling to flee across Russia's borders. In Georgia, the mass exodus of men, alone or with their families or friends, began shortly after Putin called for 300,000 more troops. Since then, cars have been forming long, snaking lines like this one. ABC's Britt Clinette is on the border. All these people behind me have been on a days-long journey from Russia. They say that they don't have any plans, but they just needed to get out. Many of them are relieved, they are exhausted, but they say they had no choice. People like Dmitry, who spent seven days trying to escape Russia. I don't want to kill people and I don't want to be killed. I don't need this war. I don't support Putin. The mass exodus coming on the heels of what the White House is calling a sham referendum in occupied parts of Ukraine. Putin is expected to use the results to declare the regions are now part of Russia as early as this Friday. Russia has now announced the pre-baked results of its sham referendum. These results were concocted in Moscow, not collected in Ukraine. We have seen videos and reports of armed officials going door to door, intimidating voters. The White House says it's preparing to add new sanctions on Russia for the referendums and announce another $1 billion package of weapons and equipment for Ukraine. And now the EU Commission president calling on the 27 member countries to also administer more sanctions on Russia. So we propose sweeping new import bans on Russian products. This will keep Russian products out of the European market and deprive Russia of an additional 7 billion euros in revenues. The United States has now given nearly $17 billion of aid to Ukraine since the Biden administration took office. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.